Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, and it is a very cold and foggy morning this morning. I'm actually on the way to the gym. Kathy is too, but she took the kids to school first, and then after we're done at the gym, I gotta get some groceries and stuff like that. So um, just made sense to drive separately this morning, but we're gonna go work out, and then we're gonna meet back up at the office a little bit later. We actually were unable to record a video over the weekend just because things were a little crazy and busy and so um, we have some viewer sales that we'll thank you guys for and we're gonna do some what's old stuff a little bit later and over the weekend Kathy and I have been doing some talking about the business and um, trying to figure out some things there along with personal life and all that so um, some possible changes coming up in the future but we did want to ask you guys for your input um, we'll talk about that stuff a little bit later it's nothing major um, but just some something different and sometimes different can be good sometimes it can be bad um, we're just trying to weigh all of our options in this specific instance before we make any changes for sure um, so I'm gonna head to the gym meet up with Kathy get our workout done and then we'll meet back at the office and we'll see you guys then Good morning, friends. Uh, Chris and I just got done at the gym. He has headed to go pick up our groceries and I am gonna go ahead and get some food because I am hungry, haven't eaten yet. I found a coupon for this nectar juice bar for an acai bowl and I love acai bowls, but I've never tried this place. So I was gonna go try that out and it is by a thrift store. So I was thinking about popping in to see if I can find some shoes to sell as well. So let's go do that update. This was delicious. And now we are in front of the thrift. So let's go in and try to find some stuff to flip. guys I went in and I didn't find a ton I got I only bought two things um, I was just looking at shoes and it seemed like they hadn't restocked from the weekend so I only found one shoe and then on the way to the checkout I found this Sundance sweater uh, I tried to get some footage I don't know how it turned out but yeah this was $5.99 I think I can get around 30 plus shipping or so it has mohair merino wool lambs wool and gore rabbit hair so it's a really nice material and then this was the find of the day um some as 98 i google lens them and i think they're called like the bruce boot or something so these retail for like 400 dollars, and i'm hoping to get around 100 for them pre-owned so yeah all right, I am gonna stop at Starbucks on the way home, but then we are gonna go ship some items. All right, guys, we are back at the office. Uh, got home from doing grocery shopping, took a shower and all that. Kathy did get to go to a little thrift store after her breakfast, found a couple <laughs> items. I figured I would at least pop in to like get one thing because yeah. I can at least get the mileage right off <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm, since I was already going to get that breakfast bowl, yeah, I did find one thing. Um, I haven't checked the footage yet, so I don't know if it came out in there, but if not, we'll show you it. I left it downstairs, so we'll go grab it yeah. before the end of the video. <laughs> but yeah, I only bought two things, but I was only in there for a few minutes. So. For sure. And I spent way too much at the grocery store. I, yeah. <laughs> I haven't been in a grocery store in like a year. and He normally does pickups on Sunday. Well, yeah. like we do the order on Sunday, pick it up on Monday after the gym. But like everything was showing out of stock last night. So really, yeah. I guess you'll have to go in. Uh, what a pain like in the was... butt. No, I don't <laughs> ever want to do that again. <laughs> I was like, it won't be busy on a, a, like a, the middle of the work day. And he said it was. But he also went to a store that I don't wouldn't normally yeah. go to. So, yeah. 
right, we just pull in? Pull in, and then, yeah, we do have some viewer sales that we didn't get to get oh, to. Yeah. You wanna do those first real quick? Yeah, we didn't record a video, I think, what is it, Friday, because it just it's got crazy. been hectic, <laughs> and we did do a lot of talking, and we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, after we pull stuff and maybe get some input from you guys, but. Uh, yeah, so I did wanna thank at least the viewers that bought some stuff from us. I think there was five that I knew of, so yeah. if I'm missing you, I'm sorry, I didn't see a message, I either missed it. But if you ever bought something from us, we very much appreciate yes, it. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so I did want to thank uh, Monica, Bobby, um, Faith, Debbie, and Odalis. Awesome. So thank you guys so much. Guys, thanks so much for that support. We do appreciate it. <laughs> it seems like you guys already got your stuff mostly, too, because I've already got you followed. You guys have already rated me and all that. Yeah. Stuff, so thank you guys. This guy's being a weirdo. He is. He keeps grunting. He's been grunting a lot lately. <laughs> Go lay down, bud. <laughs> so if you hear grunting, it's him. It's not me, <laughs> usually. <laughs> Freeze, lay down. All right, so weekend sales. Sold some Sanook flip flops for $20 with discount shipping on Posh. I had got those at the bins for $1.21. And I didn't do any like extra trying to send out offers or anything this weekend so it's a decent little weekend but not like a crazy right like normally i would say 30 is what i kind of want to have for a weekend like a two-day weekend right um, 30 sales like 20 cup 20 something so okay not too much less all right aj i do think you were saying you were having higher dollar sales days so far for this month right well the first few days definitely were yeah still doing good i mean yeah. <laughs> like last year, like all of like 2021, I was at about $200 profit a day. And then like I just got this year off to a bad start and I never have been able to catch up, but I'm getting close to being back there. Right. Assuming I can stay consistent and not fall back behind. But yeah. yeah. So far this month, I'm pretty much on track with that, but it's only this, what, six or seven. So. <laughs> uh, these are some Echo Mary Jane flats. Bought for $7.99 and sold for $34.95 plus shipping on eBay. Very nice. What nailers do I want to use today? Let's do some of these. Those are under a pound, so they are going out just enough poly mailer. First class. I awesome. I haven't used my stickers yet. Ooh. These ones. <laughs> Thank you the so mushrooms. much or whatever. Yeah, Very much. I'll go with that. Oh, the Starbucks mug. Just one of the regular old Colorado ones. I know I don't need to show you because you guys have seen it. <laughs> I mostly want to just check that I took the price sticker off the bottom because I sell them for more than the prices. This is like, like the where you've been yeah. line, but Colorado. Right. So, I mean, the reason I sell them for more than like this cost $12.95 at Starbucks, although I just use my points to get them for free. But you can only get this if you're in Colorado or you have to buy it online. So, yeah. Like, and even sometimes the Starbucks doesn't have it, even if yeah, you are in Colorado. That's so true. sometimes they yeah, sell they it. Yeah, they all out. have kind of different ones, and there's you know several different Colorado. So rip that off. There's even like little like there's one for Boulder, Colorado too, and stuff. Yeah, right? I found like ones. Yeah, those ones sold really well. The college ones. Yeah. See a Boulder one. But yeah, so that mug sold for twenty nine ninety five plus shipping, and I had nothing into it because it was bought with my points. Sweet. And that will do a little square box. There's some bubble wrap, which we have a huge thing down in our living room right now because it just came. Oh, bubble, bubble wrap? Bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Such a big box. <laughs> yeah, I, I ordered something on Amazon that I had ordered in the past. I was like, oh, this is what we got. That's not too bad of a price. So I ordered it, it like, not even <laughs> looking at it. It was like 17 square feet. And it was probably more than this huge box that we <laughs> It was half the price of 700 square feet. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, got to return that. <laughs> but I, that's what I get for not really looking. Yeah, I just, we don't use it a ton. I just push that purchase again button. <laughs> um, so these are new shoes. Bought for $10.99. Sold for $35.95 plus shipping. Those are going out in a pad of flat rate. A was the viewer sale. Going out to Taylor, some born like cool Aztec Southwestern print 
slip-on shoes. Bought for three dollars. Taylor bought them for twenty-seven ninety-seven plus ship. Nice. Thank you so much for another purchase. And I think I was yeah padded flat right on those. Okay, top shelf bear paw boots. I see them. So these, I was kind of worried to buy them because like bear paw doesn't usually do that well for me. But I thought they were a cool color and they were like basically almost unworn. I don't know what's going on, but I think my gimbal just died. I don't know. <laughs> so it's all like wobbly. I don't it notice. died. Give me one minute. I'm going to get it out of this thing and then we'll pick it right back up. All right, guys. Sorry. I I just charged it the other day. I must have left it on or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fun. One day we'll have a video with no hiccups. Up. Are you sure? Because <laughs> no, I don't I... think so. <laughs> so, yeah, these bear paw boots. I mean, I like bear paw boots, but like they just don't seem to sell that well, at least for like not enough for me. They usually pick them up because the thrifts like to overprice them. Mm -hmm. They did have these priced at 20, but I got them on a 30% off day. So I paid 14 and I sold them for 33 plus ship. So I about doubled my money, which okay. is not ideal. Great but, on like yeah. a $14 buy, I feel like. It was a gamble to make only $14 profit. Yeah. So those are going to go UPS, so I'll have to find a box. I think it would definitely be hard to do that with every item that we do, but it's okay to do that every once in a while. Yeah. Especially when it's a gamble. Got some Oakley men's, like a Trek windbreaker pant. These ones I bought for $5.99, sold for $12.48 plus shipping after a very long time of them not selling. So only a few dollars profit there. They're a man's item. I'm gonna give them this <laughs> instead of the floral mushroom one. <laughs> well, right. men don't like mushrooms. I, I like mushrooms on my pizza. I know. I know you. <laughs> I'm like the only one in this family that does like mushrooms. mushrooms are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but they're cute. Well, like these little mushrooms are cute. Like the ones that grow in your yard. They're not, not as cute. Okay. Like yeah, I was going to say, tops. if those grow in your yard, uh, that's bad. <laughs> those are very poisonous, I'm pretty sure. The red mushrooms. Uh, so some Lucky Brand jeans. These are from the bins, and I have zero cost of goods because I didn't count them as part of my cost of goods because I was taking them to Play-Dohs. They did not accept them, so I sold them for ten forty eight plus shipping on eBay. Okay. Gonna do a padded flat rate. Okay, I think that was. Yeah. Okay. W. Some Clarks. Ooh, this one's pretty stuck. These just a basic slip on shoe bought for $9.99, sold for $23.23 plus shipping, so about doubling my money. Do a nailer. Okay. CJ. Oh, this was this was a cool sale because of how fast it was. I was sad for like a minute just because I thought <laughs> I might have underpriced it, but I don't know. So these are towels, but I'm pretty sure they're vintage. I think I called them vintage. Most people that had some similar ones listed called them vintage, so. Okay. But they basically looked like brand new and they're like a legitimate like moccasin. Anyways, I bought them for $4.99 and I didn't even look up comps when I bought them. I was like, oh, they're probably 25 to 30 or something. Right. Um, and then when I went to list them, I did look up comps and I saw some, you know, 40, 50, but then I saw some like in the $100 range. Wow. And I just didn't know where to price them. Most of the 100 ones were like crossed out with the best, best offer, offer. Ex accepted. And I never go look at what the actual price that they sold for was. Yeah, because there's a way to do that through Worth Point or something like that. It's Is either it Worth Point? Point or like just Terra Peak, Peak, Peak or maybe? Which, yeah, one of those. I've just never We've never that, used either. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I didn't know exactly what to price them at, but I was like, eh, just based on what's listed currently, which wasn't a lot and the size that I had and what had sold recently. I was like, let me just do 60. And they sold in the first day, like in less than 12 hours for $59.95 plus ship. And they had four watchers and people were asking questions about them. So yeah. I probably could have got more. Obviously I wasn't gonna up the price once people were already like asking about them because right. it's obvious, so. Oh, that I was did. the one where we got somebody asking like 10 questions <laughs> in one. I to like read the questions because it seemed like, let me see if I can find that real quick. I was like, this person, I'm not answering the right. questions. But then they sold like a little bit after that. Like, I just don't understand. Like to me, I would not buy something online if I had this many questions about it, you know? Right. 
Especially, it seems like they had this many questions because they saw we don't accept returns. Oh, so I mean, they're like honestly. trying to make sure 100% that it's what they want, <laughs> but right? Me, those people are still going to make something <laughs> that, yeah. that they need to return. So this yeah. question was, hi, is the leather, leather buttery soft on the top and bottom? Are the insoles still, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> are the insoles still soft? Does the leather have a sweet or sour smell? Do these moccasins measure more than 10 inches in length? Like... I don't know. Th- those might right. be all legitimate, like, questions, but, like, right. that was just too much. Yeah. Like, those are the questions that I usually block people over just because I don't want them to buy it at that point. Yeah. Right. Each, each question, you should block it's people. not like they're not valid questions. Right. It's just we know that I'm it would sell gonna, to somebody yes. not asking questions. <laughs> those, like, are red flags to me. Um, yeah. Just the amount of questions and just how particular they were based on, like, I had a lot of photos, very clear. Yeah. They basically look brand new. I showed the insoles. I showed the whole, like, every side of them. It just seemed like overkill, so. Yeah. I didn't block the person just because they had sold right away, but. Right. Had they not sold that day, I may have. I don't so know. that they couldn't. Just yeah. because it's, like she said, red flag. <laughs> not like we have anything against them or yeah. anything, but. I think I'll answer. If that was just, like, what is the bottom measure, I'd answer that. I don't even know if I could say if they're buttery soft. That's my opinion. Right. A lot um, of those were very opinionated (laughs) questions. In which case, then they could say it wasn't and do an item not as a spirit. Yeah. So I just protect myself whenever I feel like I need to by not answering things. So Tell us if we're wrong. (laughs) Uh, I sold this Squishmallow for 502 plus shipping. Got it from the bin, so $1.21 cost of goods. That might not be worth some people to list, but I'll take it. It's almost a $4 profit. Yeah. That's fine with me. I mean, what, two, three, four photos yeah, quick? and like, I mean, eBay seeing I'm listing stuff, selling stuff. Yeah. Shipping stuff fast. Possible chance of getting a positive feedback. Yeah. Or negative, I guess. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like in perfect condition. I thought this was four feet. <laughs> These are some J. Crew toothpick jeans. Also from the bins, cost of goods was $1.37, sold for $14.98 plus shipping. And those are going in a padded flat rate. Okay, BG. This one I thought would sell a lot sooner, but I way overpriced it probably in the beginning. This is a Masters. Really oh, pretty yeah. color, mint green pullover, and this was like Pima Cotton. It's like really, really soft. I feel like men's master stuff sells a lot quicker and for more. But this one's still sold for a good amount. I paid $5.99, sold it for $41.97 plus shipping, but yeah, probably took four or five months. Yeah. Masters is one of those things, yeah. Sells yeah, pretty good I found usually. A, another one the other day that I need to list this week. So. Yeah, that one was interesting. Yeah, well it looked vintage and it looks pretty cool. So we'll see. Yeah. How well it sells. CP. The viewer sale going out to Angie, who's bought from us a few times now. Angie um, scooped up these Sauconies for $29.95 plus ship. First day I listed, and hmm. I had bought them for $5.99. So sweet. Thank you, Angie. Angie, thank you so much for all the support. Yeah, and those are like in perfect shape. So I hope you love them. Let's see going out in a pad of flat right. All right, AW. I feel like a lot's right in here today. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up with putting stuff away, obviously. <laughs> I still have this. So this is kind of what I've been working on today, but yeah. since I'm putting stuff away right away, it's been mostly over here, which a lot of these are newer listed items. This was one of my son's Abercrombie flannels. I don't know what I bought it for. I, both of my kids have worn this, so. But it sold for $10 plus shipping. I probably paid less than that to begin with. So I'm considering it making my money back. I'm going to do... This one because it's sort of like childlike mailer. Oh, the little popsicles? Ice trucks. Yeah, oh, ice popsicles. cream trucks. It's right. just close in on there. <laughs> Is that a shipping hip? Yeah, that nice. one was from their summer launch. They might still have them on the same. BH UFOs. You know which one I haven't bought yet that I probably should? Is like the, they have a kid in specific mailer. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so these UFOs. For seventy nine ninety five plus shipping, pre owned wow. UFOs. Like that's crazy, right? Um, cost of goods was eight forty seven, so really good seller. Look how dirty those soles are too. <laughs> <I know. laughs> for eighty bucks on this. <laughs> um, those are under a pound, so just first class. 
I'm not criticizing your dirty souls. No, I'm I just don't. pointing out the fact I that <laughs> we don't clean souls. Yeah, um, I saw something. Uh, Dalton at dealing with Dalton was posting in his story the other day like he sold a pair of shoes with it literally still said like five ninety nine on the bottom or something didn't even cross it out didn't take it off he's always saying you don't really even need to like take the numbers off the bottom yeah and I agree although I still do just because I don't want people messaging like you got these for six dollars yeah. why are you selling them because like obviously you're still selling them for a uh, market value but. right and Ufos made them for five dollars too so right. like <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah oh so, yeah. I still take the numbers off the bottom as best I can, or yeah. at least I like, cross it out with a Sharpie, but I don't think you have to. I think you should do whatever feels good to you. Right. So, I sold this, Hannah Anderson, Aww. Max, Grinch t-shirt. Uh, this is my son's. I had bought it off Kid is in a while back for $33.12, and I sold it for $31.96 plus shipping, so I'm making back most of my money off of that. My son got to wear it. And it's going to someone else right around the yeah. Christmas time. If I would have waited to list that, I probably actually would have got closer to 40. The Hannah Anderson Grinch stuff usually sells close to 40. Yeah. But I listed it in the wrong season. So. All right. I finally sold one of these. These were from that estate oh, sale. Oh, wow. Yeah. Back, which I was, I kind of already knew they weren't going to sell for the high amount that my last John Deere hat did. Mm -hmm. Just because it seemed like comps went away, which was sad. But I paid a dollar for it. And this one sold on Mercari for 25 plus ship. The, there's a yellow one that's the same, but yellow. Um, that one, I I put them on eBay for like 100 so they were yeah. already in our 50% off sale at 50 but they're still not selling. So when this one sold, I took that one down and put it back up on eBay for like 30 mm -hmm. and then I'll send offers, and then it'll still price drop until it finally sells. So right. Either way, a dollar into 25 is great. A dollar into 20 would be great, too. So. Yeah, I mean, they're cool vintage John Deere yeah. hats. They're just not the... I figured the... for a dollar, I'll... Put it up yeah. high as I can hold right. off on making my dollar back for a while. I will put that in a box. I just have to find one. Alrighty, this is a kid's childhood hoodie. This was my son's. Probably bought it off the childhood site, so somewhere between 35 to 40, depending if I had a coupon. And I sold it for 30 plus shipping, so I'm making back probably 27 on that. Cool. Yep. Oh. This thing is. I don't yeah, think we've that's ever on really its last leg. It, but yeah, I've <laughs> never loved it. I, I mean, I love that I have somewhere to put everything, but this has never been my favorite. Right. So I might be looking at Which is kind different. of, a, yeah, I mean, that's part of what we're going to be talking about in a little bit, I guess, if you, in a roundabout way. <laughs> And if you got, I mean, you guys have seen the thumbnail, which is something that I've been thinking about. Uh, and if I made the thumbnail the way I'm thinking, you probably know what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> I'm not trying to be super, I don't know. Is You're that clickbaity? Am I annoying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be, but we'll be there <laughs> soon enough. Okay. Well, I sold these Clark's men's like slip on loafer for 39 plus shipping on Mercari. I had bought them for 9 dollars those are going FedEx, so I do need to find a box. Then AR. I just don't want people to think that we're not going to talk about it <laughs> because the title and the right. thumbnail and all that stuff. All right. I just need to get my shipping done. <laughs> uh, these Abeo, or however you want to say these <laughs> shoes, I do love picking these up. But these ones were $9.99 and sold for $35, I believe, on Posh. Yeah. Poshmark. Those can do a medium flat rate. Is that a medium flat rate? No, it's a large flat rate. Here we go. Okay, a couple more AJ. This took forever to sell, which I guess makes sense. It doesn't seem like a very common brand or anything. I thought it was cool though, and it's a, it's a really nice shirt. The brand is Weird Fish. <laughs> hmm. So it just looks like a really cool fleece. Like, do you see how it looks? It almost looks like yarn. like Almost like woven. knitted or crocheted. Right. And it's like really like sturdy, like heavy duty. That's probably, I don't know how much these cost new, but I took a chance on it a very long time ago for $6.99 and finally accepted a $25 offer. So not huge profit, but yeah. hopefully Except for a long time, but it. hey. It's nice. Got to try the weird stuff every yeah. once in a while. The weird fish. Weird fish stuff. <laughs> I'll be on that. Yeah, I've never really heard of the brand. I literally just bought it based on I thought it was nice. Yeah. So it's not always the best way to buy stuff. Based on intrigue. 
I'm gonna close this window a little bit. My no. toes, my toes are freezing. Put your slippers on. <laughs> my slip. I don't have slippers. So. <laughs> I'd get you some, but I know you'd never. I don't like slippers. <laughs> um, but these Halston heels at the bins. I do not usually pick up heels at all, but. These are basically like nails, so I took a chance and they were cheap. So $1.97 cost of goods, sold for $20 with discount shipping on Posh. Cool. So medium flat right there. And lastly, got a viewer sale. Going out to Christy, that's in box V. We got the Under Armour flip flops that I recently found at the bins. So dollar twenty one cost of goods, and she got them for twenty two with discount shipping. So thank you, awesome, Christy. Christy thank you so much for the support. Going a padded flat rate. Cool. So that was the last of it. Let's get the stuff all packed up, and then we'll get into the topic of today's video. All right, guys, got everything all packed up, ready to go, Reese. Why are you getting up? Because we stood up, so we think something's <laughs> gonna happen. What do you think's gonna happen? Going down. So, topic <laughs> of the video, I suppose. I don't know if it's the whole video, because this is probably only gonna be about five minutes or so. Um, but Kathy and I talked over the weekend, and I don't think it's any surprise that we have uh, a goal of getting another house and uh, with more space to do our business, right? Um, Sorry. gotta get the gotta treat break. <laughs> All right, go lay down. Um, so with, with that on the mind, what we've talked about this last weekend is even though we've kind of said that we never really wanted to do this, um, I still don't know that I really All right. And that's the thing. We just wanted to talk about it, open the conversation, weigh the pros and cons and I'm sure some of you have experience. Right. And we kind of figured mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there that ha are in either of these situations. So we've been thinking about either, I guess there's three options, <laughs> right? <laughs> the first option being, uh, getting a shed for the backyard. Um, keeping in mind that we don't want to live here very much longer. We want to move into a bigger house with more space for the business and for family stuff. Um, so that could be a pretty big investment with the possibility of being able to take it with us, I guess. Right. Um, or getting a storage unit, which is a more temporary solution for, I guess, just having more space. You know, one of Kathy's biggest goals of this year starting off was to try to sell or to net a hundred K. And I just, <laughs> I think I'm, I think I could have done it. Had yes. I, the problem is we run out of space. Like every yes. other week you guys hear us say like, we don't have anywhere to put the stuff that we just listed. Yeah. And so I'm constantly sending out lower offers and stuff is worth just to move it just so I could put new stuff in that yeah. space. Like I think if I could grow my inventory to about 2000 items, which is kind of what I've always wanted. Yeah. Um, I think I'd be at there or a little better even. So, right. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, you know, I'm over halfway there already. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm at about 1,200 listings, 1,100 actually, maybe 1,200. Anyways, so right. I think if I was at 2,000, I would be, as long as I'm keeping the same sell through, keeping consistent, I would be at where I want to be at and not having to constantly send low offers. <laughs> not that I don't want to. I do want to move stuff. I'm okay making smaller profits. So. Right. But usually when I do it, it's just to get more space, not because I'm like super stoked to sell all my stuff for $5 profit. Right, so. right, right. So yeah. space is our biggest concern. Yeah, and coming yeah. up in the end of the year, like, I kind of want to start the new year. <laughs> like, Yeah, fresh yeah. Late, this is obviously we're not going to rush to any... Yeah. Ju uh, judgment <laughs> rush to any conclusions um with this we're just kind of open up the conversation at the beginning of this month and you know what it's very likely not likely but it's very possible that nothing changes and we just keep going with how we're going till we get a new house which doesn't feel good either. it doesn't feel good either right no. because we had hoped to have a house by now but as many of you guys know all right i guess our trash guys here <laughs> uh, as many of you guys know the housing market has shifted things are less certain, I guess, as they were 
even six months ago, a year ago. Yeah. And so, you know. We don't want to just buy a house just to buy a house. Right. And it's like the probably worst time ever. Yeah. Like the other houses we bought have been at good times. And right. while we can still buy a new one if we want, we, I don't know. We want to make sure it, we're, we're so. being good stewards of our money and all that. And, yeah. and um, also, like, one of the things... You know, Chris did our downstairs for last yes. fall. Yeah. And, you know, that came up here, on Time Hop. You were looking at, yeah, and you're like, look what happened a year ago. ago. <laughs> um, which, you know, we have the flooring to match still up. Yeah, all this carpet. Here, and it would be almost impossible with what we have going on up here. Operating the full business we here. Move everything out. So we're yeah. just trying to figure out what's the best thing to do going forward. Assuming we, it might be a while till we get that house that we want. Right. Or. Honestly, right. another thing is, uh, I, I don't know if it bothers me as much. I kind of like uh, having stuff in the house, so, like, I'd probably rather have the shed, although... Close by. Yeah. I think a shed would be a great option, but Chris it's a bigger investment. The that's the thing. Out of sight, out of mind. Well, I mean, not not, oh, not totally. I, <laughs> you think we work too much. I don't think we do. I think we've been working less and less and less. Yeah, no, we've, we've definitely cut back a lot of our work, and we've, you know, taken more serious care of our health and stuff like that. Um, so, there's... I, I don't my goal eventually is to have a house and have it all on yeah. site just not in our house right yeah and like something that bothers me every day is just like bins and like i just yeah. don't, the bins are fine like but they could be in that closet if nothing else is here and i could just be working on one thing at one time. yeah i don't like that we're doing what's old with this bin this bin like it just seems like a lot of clutter to me and right. it's causing me stress so also know. we have you know this is aside from our living room which is downstairs this is the only other common room i guess yeah don't in our house any extra not even a single right. guest bedroom, we don't have a basement nothing. we don't have yeah. like we even have the, our closets like our linen closets and stuff are like very small yeah uh, barely fit what we need them to fit things like that so and so kathy has been mentioning that she would maybe like to get some weights and stuff to do stuff at home in the days that we can't make it to the gym and we just have nowhere to put it unless it's <laughs> in our main living room this and weird. It'll weird i mean we could make that work if it's temporary but how temporary is that's the whole thing like this could go six months it could go right. a year i mean i and hope it's not like we keep saying we don't want to spend the money on the storage unit like i'd rather say yeah we looked it up it's probably about two between 250 to 300 dollars yeah. a month which isn't for bad, like a but climate controlled let's 20 say that's or 10 by 20 year that's what let's say three what's three times 12 uh 3600 $3, yeah be, a portion of our down payment to our house so it's like right do we really want to spend that money when we don't have to but we could probably make more money by doing it mm -hmm. i think we definitely could make more money by doing it i um, think i think the benefit to a storage unit is it adds that flexibility of if we need to double the space it could happen in a weekend right or yeah. um but then we're driving somewhere every day. Which, you know, where we've been looking is kind of by the gym. So yeah. it would be on the way in that sense. And then the mileage would the be mileage a mileage right deduction, right? yeah. Right now we're driving to the gym. That's not a mileage write off. But if yeah. we're going to storage for to pick up our sales or put away our inventory, that is. Yeah. Um, so that's a bonus, I guess. But yeah, it's about to be snowing a lot. And that I don't right. like driving in the snow. So he'd have to pick up. Our whole wet sold would be different. Although we. That's another thing. That's we another thing. The whole YouTube to, aspect of it. Like, how would that look on camera? Which would, we wouldn't really show. Because we looked at the storage unit this weekend. and it's, it just, There's no lighting it's possibilities, right? Yeah, not so dark that we can't find our stuff, but definitely not somewhere where we could record a video. Not that I'd want to anyways, because people right. would be going in and out, loud sounds and stuff. Echoey. Um, so what I was thinking is we would bring the sales back here and talk about them. Um, kind of like we did in the very beginning. Yeah. When they were already all pulled out things like that but also we again kind of getting bored of like the same thing like kind of yeah when we were in the summer we wanted to switch it up and while we didn't do a very good job we wanted to so <laughs> this video we've kind of switched up fun. a little bit yeah, too like so we want to do more vloggy like show what we're doing yeah. throughout the day because like i'm sure you guys are always wondering like how do you list so much how do you do everything mm -hmm. so that would kind of give you an idea i guess yeah so so yeah i, I mean <laughs> a lot of thoughts and not, not a lot of answers so let us know. Do you guys have a storage unit? Do you have a shed? Do you just have a 
Do you have no space at all yet. like us? <laughs> well, I, I mean, we have a lot of space. We'll do this out of apartments yeah. and then just stick them in different places. So I don't know. I think either way, shed or storage unit, we would still have like our desk here. We'd still do our shipping from here. We'd bring the stuff here. Yeah, we'll still work out of here. Process we'll here. Just the floor. We can decorate it a little nicer. Yeah. So. I mean, these shelves would go away and yeah. I'm, you know, I'd probably do more like bringing my... Our lives you know, yeah, be the back wall live and backdrop. And you know, like I like collecting old retro games, so I'd probably have like some kind of <laughs> backdrop there, try to display them and all I would that. Still be photographing there or here. Yeah. Um, trying to, you know, right now I'll sometimes leave stuff piled for days before I put it away, but I would think I would get stuff done quicker. Yeah. Just because I'd have to take it to the storage. So. And you know, I've mentioned before having like building like a nice shipping station which would, it would kind of open us up a little bit more there as far as, you know, not having to walk around it all the time with pulling inventory behind it. So, and then, you know, maybe having like this little area here be like a little weight bench with some dumbbells. Um, you know, Kathy would be able to turn this, this monitor around or, you know, if I want to do it too, <laughs> we'd have at least a little bit of a corner to do that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot to think about, and that's what we've been thinking about over the weekend, and we would love to know your guys' thoughts. Mostly, I'm just scared y'all are going to never watch <laughs> them if they do something crazy Right. Like that. And again, this is, this is at least January at oh. the earliest, right? Like... I mean, if we're doing, like, storage. I think we could just move I guess, me, yeah, if we so. do storage. But I just don't want to jump to, uh, a, you know, because the storage, I think it does add a lot of... Like putting stuff away, like, right? Putting stuff in our inventory. That's a whole different process at that point because we'd have to bring it off site. We don't have a computer out there. We're not able to do shipping there. So, you know, just want to make sure we have all of the things figured out exactly how we're going to do it so that on day one, we know exactly what we're going to do. Um, and again, with the shed, like, that's a big, that's, it. I mean, I was looking at sheds. I think the biggest we could go is 10 by 20 without having to pull like permits with the county. Um, and then I think that would still be, cause we do live in a, is this, what is this called? Suburban? <laughs> like we live in a neighborhood. We got neighbors, right? Like we don't have a lot of land. It's we a third of an acre. Bus. We don't really want to annoy them anymore. <laughs> have a school bus in the backyard. Uh, <laughs> so, which we did get a question on that the other day. What, what's the bus? We have a bus that we're converting into an RV <laughs> and that's a project too. <laughs> so, um, but the shed would definitely be like somebody else building it, delivering it. Um, I don't even know if I'd run power to it. I'd probably just do like an extension cord and like a heater in the winter and maybe like a little window AC through that extension cord. So nothing permanent because with, I mean, at least a $10,000 investment on the shed. That's what. Right. I mean, at least we could take it with us. Yeah. But then moving it is going to cost some. Um, because yeah. when we do move out of this house, we want this house to be a rental property for us. So, you know, with that in mind, like we want to get stuff like the flooring up here done, uh, some of the improvements that we need to do and all that stuff, get that ready. And I think you mentioned at one point, I don't know how recent ago, but we should be putting, since we want to buy another house, we should be putting like a mortgage payment away, like basically paying a mortgage payment to our savings account. Yeah. Um, and then if we did like the storage unit or something, I would just kind of deduct that from there because that would, yeah. once we get into a house, right, off, right? right. storage unit's right off or the shed's right off. Yeah. So just, I don't know. And again, it is, we do have to think of YouTube on it. We don't want to change up so bad that the YouTube doesn't make any sense anymore. We still want to share what's sold and haul videos and stuff like that. So, um, 